Alright, I'm gonna give you guys a little walk through this cafe. This is, of course, the entrance. And they're singing behind me. And they're not very good at it. So you're gonna go back into what they call the brothel area. I'm just using the light, um, I can see, but for the film purposes. I wouldn't use this bathroom. Nope. It doesn't look that bad though. Got herself a little Tonka truck. Someone's firmly put their butt on that seat. That's an ass print. Last time, well, one of the last times we were here, we did a Facebook Live session down this very hallway. And we caught a couple of light anomalies that were, um, the longest one was about eight frames. Uh, on a camera that fills about, you know, 60 something frames per second. And uh, so it happens really fast. And there's three different ones, but they're right here in the center of this hallway late at night. You see, we got the drywall and stuff. They're doing work slowly. This is a very big building. Um, it was once a hotel at one time. And there's a cafe beneath us, and that's where we're going next. It's down to the cafe. So it has the old bed from the hotel in here. We're gonna go downstairs. This is where it starts getting cooler. It's like 10 degrees cooler down here. It's nice in the summertime. And if you come in the wintertime, you're looking at freezing your damn butt off. And we're gonna go to the cafe first. People who's only been here the one time um, can get turned around pretty easy. That goes down into the tunnels. We're going to be getting into the restaurant part. Had quite a few experiences here. Doors opening by themselves. Uh, when they've been shut for a long period of time. Go ahead and close the door. Use my energy if you need to. You fucking serious? Holy shit. Recording. And yes, there's still alcohol back there that's been frozen and unfrozen over the winters. Cook up some hamburgers. 
Uh -huh. Let's go into the cafe. I don't know how long this restaurant has been closed. Um, long time. It's, uh, they've cleaned it up kind of nicely. Used to be a lot of storage stuff in here. Let's see what might be in these coolers, shall we? That one's empty. Empty. So to the main street here. This was a Chinese American cafe. They used to have all kinds of Chinese stuff in here. Menu. Let's go back. Now we're gonna head to the back of this level here. Not sure what this back here used to be used for, but it's all like bricks. Um, totally different from this portion of the building. You got little archways. So I do not know if this was part of the cafe building, the hotel, or if it was something else. It's real heavy in here. So I could gain sudden weight. And there is a really steep flight of stairs here. Goes to the tunnel area. And we're going to see into the cathedral from here. Let me go down there in just a second. We've had some pretty cool um, spirit box um, responses here because when you get down down below, um, you're not getting any radio interference anymore. So it's just all white noise coming through on the spirit box and whatever responses that you're getting. So we're going to go down. Uh, there's a big drop in temperature here. We're now underground where it's really quiet. Won't hear them singing down here. But they say that uh, the tunnels used to actually go uh, under the street um, behind behind the main street. There was a um, Chinatown. And they said the tunnels actually went back there at one point. A lot of water moisture here coming in but yeah you can see this went farther back at one point it's all filled in a lot of hazards when you're walking in the dark it's 
That's why I'm using the light. There's areas that are wet, slippery, and of course tripping hazards like uh, that. This looks like a actual crack of some kind. Uh, here's the uh, lower part of those stairs. We're coming into the part they call the cathedral. This is where my flashlight will come in handy. It's a big emptied brick room. Goes pretty for about, I don't know, we should be no longer beneath the building, so. And it goes up somewhere outside. But yeah, it has this little ledge to it. I'm not sure what this was used for back in the day. Little pieces of wood stuck all over. Um, there's uh, one investigation we did down here. I left a voice recorder down in this room for about three hours by itself. And you just hear random uh, rocks hitting the wood at, at, you know, pretty, pretty hardly thrown. Like someone's target practicing down here. Some would sound like it's just skipping rocks, and some would be like direct hits against the boards. All right, so we're almost done with this tour. I'm not going to bother them over there in the living section. There's uh, up where we started, there's a living area with four bedrooms, the kitchen, living room area, and some bathrooms. They're up there singing and stuff, so I'm gonna leave them be. Now you can see here, it looks like uh, we got rails for like carts to take stuff out. And I don't know why they would be down here. This goes pretty far back, but uh, pretty sure it ends at the end of the building where the street is. And there's all kinds of stuff back here. And low roof. Fun. Hit your head. Oh, sitting water. Yeah, we've had quite a few really good spirit box sessions down here. Yeah, definitely nice and cool with some moisture. And some of the Chinese dishes left over from the restaurant. But what I've noticed from the few times I've investigated here is, uh, this area, right, right, right where it gets narrow, and all the floors above are the most active spots in this building. That's where we get the most responses, the most activity. I'm coming down. Okay. Uh, 
I'm gonna do an experiment tonight. I'm gonna do the old baby powder test. But I got black poster board and I cut some out. And these are these steps are actually the perfect size for what I cut out. But when we go to bed tonight, and I know no one's down here, I'm gonna place these boards out and I'm gonna sprinkle baby powder on there. This this is the exact spot where we got that EVP said so stairwell. Yep, stairwell. And when we were doing the SB7 spirit box, and I asked, what is the best piece of advice that you can give the living? From that side, you've died, you know what happens, and it told us to use condoms. <laughs> and I think that's great. What's the biggest message that you, those that have passed on and died on the other side, what's the biggest message that you can give to us, the living in this realm right now? What's the biggest piece of advice you have for us? Condom. <laughs> I agree, more people should wear those. But they have those back in your day. I just thought it was funny because we both heard it at the same time. And you're like, yes, I agree. We yeah. should use that more often. This world's too populated. Use condoms. Don't get upset and use this knife over here. That, oh, that looks awful. I want to show you where this noose the show on Ghost Adventures as a new Chinese newspaper. <laughs> We're also going to try to do uh, Google Translate tonight. And that was actually something we did last time. It was brought up by our buddy, Zach Stone. He brought that up, but we're going to try that again. Because it, there's evidence, obviously, the Chinese were here and had involvement in this town and this building in particular. So we're going to try... Using a little Google Translate. Yeah. Uh oh. This, this is the news. It's basically an electrical cord to a light. But they they said uh, they called it a news on Ghost Adventures. Oh, it's not plugged into anything. That's the weird thing. It's a dead end electrical cord. But I do have my phone here. Yeah, let's let's try right to get close. Eh, kind of. Eh. Right there. Yeah, it's not plugged into anything. That's where it's cut. Is it my video light? No. And that's where, uh, that's where the socket is. And it goes and then it stops and then it goes and then it stops. Because eh. if it was an electrical current, that's when you tend to see your K2. It'll spike and hold. It'll stay lit up. Usually, generally, when it's a spirit, it's more like a pulse. A hit, back, hit, back. So it's... I wonder where that door, huh? That door just goes through the wall, right? Yeah. That's good. Well, it looks like, I don't know, maybe it was. I'm just trying to picture in my mind what this building looked like back in the day. Would you think this was a room? I think this is obviously a room. But some hotels... This was a room. That was not a room. Yeah, this was maybe like a walkway. This is like an entrance into this. Well, it probably had like a little... It, like couch and stuff kind of over like a here. Small lobby area. Yeah. yeah. I like to just in my mind try to go back in time and picture. Because that would be a door. Room. That would be a door to a room. Yeah. And this one has a sink. No bath. No toilet. But. Yeah. Not all rooms had so toilets. This is not where I want to say communal, like place to wash your hands. Sit and wait, read a magazine, maybe like a sunroom. In fact, in the 1800s, a lot of rooms didn't have working toilets. Poop in the bucket! Oh, wow, they got nice new windows and everything. Uh, you can tell they're, I think they, their plans are to redo all of this and open these rooms so you can come here. Mm, I don't know. But I don't know. They're obviously doing a lot of renovations. Like I said, this is a lot cleaner, a lot nicer than it was than the last time we were here. Yeah, this is the hallway we filmed live one day, and we caught those light anomalies like halfway down the hallway, about halfway up. But gonna go into the living area now. Hope you guys enjoyed the little tour.